Um, it makes basketball is very exciting. Energetic. A lot of adrenaline. Can't take it easy every night. I love me major basketball. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I was born in Washington, D.C., uh, 1992. Um, you know, I, I found for my love of basketball, just you know, my playing with my friends. And um, my dad played basketball, so he kind of just put the ball in my hand, and I took it from there. Um, started playing uh, actual organized basketball at the age of five. And from there, you know, I never stopped. My, my love for the game just grew. Well, I grew up, and my mom was a senior in college. I grew up in a family full of basketball athletes. Um, a couple, two of my aunts played, so, I mean, basketball is just all around me. I chose the University of Toledo because it was close to home, but um, then again, it wasn't too, too far away. And just I had a connection with Coach Kowalczyk when I came on my visit and seeing the guys he was bringing in and some of the guys that was, I was going to be playing with here, and that just made me attracted to the school a little bit more. Um, you know, the processes of me transferring, um, you know, Toledo showed a lot of interest in me uh, once I got my release. And it really just attracted me here, you know, the great fan base, the great facilities. And um, I just thought I'd come in into a good program with the uh, pieces and just add to it and you know, have a great season. I had the chance to go to either uh, North Texas, which is like 45 minutes from my home, or come here, but I decided to come here because I like the coaching staff. Um, when me and Ryan took our visit here, uh, just like the community, I like how supporting they were, even though Toledo wasn't doing as well. But I really liked the environment, I liked the people here. It was a really good decision for me. Toledo has a beautiful campus. The first time I stepped foot on campus, I was amazed at how nice it was. I really like how you can walk to just about anywhere. It kind of sucks when it's cold, but on a good day, you can walk to one side of campus to the other in about 15, 20 minutes. It's beautiful like how all the, the buildings are the same color of stone, but I really liked it though, how small and how you can just walk everywhere. You know, I'm looking forward to starting my own business and um, you know, just looking forward to you know, basketball or entrepreneurship. I really have a passion for both. And you know, wherever life takes me, that's where the direction I would go. Well, I take academics very seriously. Um, you know, my parents have always emphasized that. And you know, here they make they make sure we stay on top of our work. Um, you know, school is definitely a top priority in basketball, and that's something that we pride ourselves in. And coaches, you know, our coaches make sure we stay in line. Um, you know, they're great supporters for us in school, off the court, on the court, and um, they just you know try to just make us into better men that we leave we leave here better than we came. Um, with you know life principles and values and things that help us on you know after basketball is done. We've had above a 3-0 each semester since I've been here and that's what eight semesters. Um, they've done a very very good job on keeping us on track with our grades, making sure we're in class, making sure we turn everything in on time and I tip my hat off to them. Toledo has been a really big help as far as me accomplishing my academic goals just as far as the tutors that we have here helping us and our academic coaches just always stand on us and making sure we're getting our things done. So Toledo has been a really big help as far as academics. Um, you know, Toledo has top of the line facilities. Um, we have so much donor support and uh, a lot of people give back to the, to the school and it gives us an opportunity to enjoy these beautiful facilities. Um, at my last school, you know, when I came here, after I got my release to transfer, you know, the facilities blew me away, and that was something that I really wanted. Um, you know, that gives me that, that big school type feeling, because a lot of men major schools do not have a practice gym, um, a nice gym with a million dollar uh, scoreboard, you know, at the top, so uh, it was great, and I love it. I've been in plenty of different locker rooms, and there are about a handful to where I think that can compete with us. Our facilities are amazing. Our practice gym 
As a, we just got a new sound system for it, so whenever we're in practice or shooting drills, they pl we plug in our own music, listen to whatever. Um, Savage Arena is gorgeous. I mean, it's whenever we get about four, five, six, seven, eight thousand in there, it's very loud, and the fans are amazing. We have great locker rooms here. We have TVs, computers, couches in our locker rooms, whatever we ask for. Um, our coach is really big on that, just trying to make us feel comfortable here and um, give us a place to hang out and bond with each other. We're more of a family than a team, just because how much we're always around one another. We're around each other basically every day. If it's not on the court, we're with each other off the court. And as far as our coaches, we're a always able to get in contact with those guys. Um, they're always around the, the facilities or they're always in their office. Or even if they're not here in the facilities, we're able to get in contact with them on their cell phones and we know they'll be right there for us waiting. So um, we're just that close as a team and as a family. We do just about anything we can together inside, outside of basketball. People are constantly at each other's apartments or dorms, just bonding with the freshmen, playing games, watching movies, taking them out to eat. Um, we just do pretty much whatever we can together just to get a feel for each other. Oh, uh, the community support has been great. Um, you know, we give we give back to the community a lot, and they and they support us a lot. You know, coming to the games, um, you know, they get their all our effort to cheer us on, and we just want to you know give them. Uh, a good basketball game back in return and just bring more wins to Toledo. Toledo is a huge basketball. They, they thrive on our basketball teams being good. Uh, whenever the women won the WNIT, it was sold out. It was sold out in like 15, 20 minutes. I mean, how many schools do you come across that? It, it was amazing just to have the whole, the whole arena in gold. Um, they've supported us tremendously. No matter where we go, we still have a lot of fans coming to our games, whether it's Ohio or um, Ball State or Northern Illinois fans still come and I really appreciate that support. I feel like in mid-major basketball we always have a chip on our shoulders because um, we're always, I wouldn't say looked down upon, but we're not looked at on the same level as a couple of some high majors and that just brings the hunger out of mid-major basketball and that's why I love it so much. Um, you know, the game is so gritty because you know we got we to gotta fight to the top to get up in the media's attention and to get on the spotlight and you know, that's what keeps a lot of mid-major teams hungry. Uh, you know, to get to the NCAA tournament would be an unbelievable honor. Um, you know, it's just to give back to the community, um, the students, you know, everybody that has supported us throughout this whole year. You know, that would be a give back to them. It's you know also to us, just a testament to how hard we worked and you know how hungry we've been all season. It would mean a lot to take the University of Toledo to an NCAA tournament, just because the school hasn't been in over 30 years. We made the tournament. We will have great support here at the University of Toledo and. I just think it would be a great thing for this community.